lead code double two seven three find resultant array after removing anagrams and it's an easy level question on lead code also i feel the same in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general with respect to interview process with respect to getting through a uh, top notch companies i'll be more than happy to assist all your queries so please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated in the description below now let's continue the question uh, let's take the same example that was specified uh, we have uh, the strings as a double b a b a b a double b double a c d d c and e f i have slightly changed the example so that you get a good hold of the concept so the first question comes uh, with respect to identifying whether two strings are anagrams of each other or not how can we do that we can simply create the frequency array of all the characters that exist in that input string for example we have a double b a so what would be the frequency array for this particular string we have a two times we have b two times and rest of the characters would are zero so uh, the anagram string for this particular input string a b b a happens to be two two followed by all zeros let's try and create the anagram string for b a b a and when we do that what we will see we will see that again the anagram string for b a b a happens to be the same because we have two a's followed by two b's in it so we have two b's we have two a's as a result of which the anagram string of b a b a again happens to be the same as a double b a and as a result of which we can say that we have to delete this particular input string because out of these two which one has a lower index this one has a lower index therefore we have to keep this as part of the answer and the one at the higher index gets deleted now let's make the comparison between a double b a and b a double b double a again you will see both are anagrams of each other as a result of which this string gets deleted let's continue the process uh next we see is a uh, c d and we will compare a double b a with it so as you can see the anagram of c d would be 0 0 1 1 followed by all zeros since the anagram of c d is not equal to the anagram of a double b a therefore we can say that we have to make an addition into our output string output array for a double b a so a double b a gets added as part of our output string along with this we'll also update the base comparison string previously the base comparison string was a double b a now the base comparison string will be updated to c d let's continue the process the next string after c d is d c so let's create the anagram string for d c again it turns out to be zero zero one one triple zero and as you can see the anagram string for cd and dc turns out to be the same as a result of which this element would be deleted because it is at the higher index let's continue the process next we see is ef let's derive the anagram string for this particular string it would be equal to triple zero four times zero followed by double one and followed by all zeros as you can see the anagram string of this particular string ef is not equal to that of cd as a result of which both are different therefore what we are going to do we'll simply add cd into our answer set so cd gets added as part of our answer set previously we had a double b a and along with this what we should be doing we should be resetting our base string the base string gets reset to ef for the further iterations to happen and in the end you will see that the words array has exhausted therefore we will be adding the last a uh, base string that has been set which is ef as part of the answer string too so ef also gets added as part of our answer string this is what we are going to do in our coding section 2 so let's quickly hop on to it the time complexity of this approach is of order of n because we are iterating through the word string only once uh, rather i should be saying the time complexity of this approach is uh, the number of words that we have into the length of each string so number of words into length of each string 
सो लेंथ ऑफ फोर्स नंबर इन टू लेंथ वुड बी द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ दिस अप्रोच इज कॉन्स्टेंट टाइम वी आर यूजिंग एन एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस ऑफ साइज ट्वेंटी सिक्स कैरेक्टर्स फॉर जनरेटिंग द एनाग्राम स्ट्रिंग फॉर ईच वर्ड एंड सिंस द साइज इज फिक्स द स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी रिमेन्स फिक्सड नाउ लेट्स क्ली वॉक थ्रू द कोडिंग सेक्शन एंड कंक्लूड द अप्रोच I have created the answer string for actually storing the answer. I have created a start index that will help us make the comparison with the rest of the string and start represent the base string comparison index. If my words dot length happens to be greater than one, what do I do? I start and I loop through all the words that are there in my input array. I have created an i pointer for iterating over the loop, and in case my frequency string. For word at the starting index is equal to the frequency string for word at the ith index. If these are equal, what should I do? I should simply skip the ith index. I should be incrementing the ith pointer. Otherwise, if they are not equal, I should be adding words dot start as part of my answer string. Starts get updated to i. Along with this, I also update the ith pointer for next of the iterations to happen. Once I'm done with this loop, I should be adding the word at the starting index. Uh, to my answer string as showcased in the presentation the last one should be added explicitly along with this there is another corner case that i should be writing if my frequency string for words at the starting index is equal to is not equal to the frequency word at the last index if these are unequal then i should be also adding words at the last index as part of the answer string so this is another important corner case which most people tend to miss out and once we are done with this we simply return the answer string in case there is only single word as part of my words array i should be adding that up and return the same result uh, for generating the frequency string of each word this logic is pretty simple and straight forward i have created a frequency map i casted my words into a character array i generated the frequency map for it and once generated i concatenate uh, the frequency map uh, into a string format and return the Result. So this will return the frequency string for each word. So let's try this up. Accept it, and the time complexity, as I have already told, is equal to order of number of strings that we have into length of each string. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being it. Have a great day ahead, and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you in some time with the rest of the questions.